Good evening, uh, YouTube, BookTube. This is Johnny. I haven't made a video in a long time. And uh, I thought I'd stop by and explain why, in case some of you guys are wondering. I haven't received any kind of comments. Uh, where are you, Johnny? You know, it's been three days. What are you doing? What are you reading? Have you gone to thrift stores? Have you got books in the mail? What are you reading? You know, what's on your mind? How's the weather? Etc. Well, today is Sunday. It's a Sunday evening. I think it's around 6 o'clock, maybe 6.20, 6.30 in the evening here in West Michigan. I'm down in the lower level. As I have mentioned in recent videos, we have gotten bookcases and... I have four bookcases coming soon again. That will make 12 altogether. And so what I've been doing the last three days is we've been de-hauling. <laughs> we've been carrying off thousands of books. And we'll be doing that all this week and to make room for the bookcases. And uh, what you see behind me are the... I have uh, cleared these shelves to put in here my favorite collection of books. Books that I don't want to de-haul, that I don't want to get rid of, that I want to be reading if I live to be a hundred years old. So I, I brought back here, on the, we made room in these shelves for major collections like, um, well for example I have here My Wallace Stevens collection, who was a very famous American poet. Wallace Stevens is one of my favorite poets. The pa This is his selected poems. Wallace Stevens collected poems. A couple of years ago, a biography came out on the poet uh, Wallace Stevens. And then I picked up at a, thrift, a used bookstore in Grand Rapids a couple of years ago. The Letters of... Wallace Stevens. So th things like that are down here. Uh, also on the bottom is here my second cop. This is my first edition of David Foster Wallace's Infinite Jest. And then they, they put out another special edition. It's, nothing was different from the first one, but I keep my extra one here. And so, yeah. And I have here The Mirror of Art by Baudelaire. And uh, this, things like this, a two volume novel by an Arabic writer from the 19th century. I can't pronounce his name. <laughs> but this is his two volume. Uh, novel, uh, Leg Over Leg, volume, this is th four volumes, uh, and this volume is the f first two volumes, no, this is, yeah, this is volume, that's his name, yeah, I bought these a couple years ago, and I'm going to hold on to them, and things like that I have in here, uh, this is Alice Dara's Gray novel, 1982. Things like this I keep down here. A little book I came across today, How to Talk About Books You Haven't Read by Pierre Boer. Boer. Things like this, and uh, this little book, The Post-Human Dada Guide. Tazar and Lennon play chess by Andrea Kustro. So, you know, things like this I keep back here to. But that's what I, I've been doing the last three days. I get up in the morning, I have a cup of coffee, I write in my diary, and then I come down here and go through the books. Uh, we've hauled about five, six, loads when we take them to the holland rescue mission which is the gateway center they have an online they sell books online and they sell them through amazon 
So, as I've been going through the books last three days, you know, six, seven hours a day, it's amazing that I say 75% of the books, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, I bought used at thrift stores, uh, book sales before we had the COVID-19 plague. Uh, most of all these books have been bought used. I have bought very few new books, if any. And it just amazes me what you can collect in 10 years. Because I started collecting, oh, about 2008, 2009, I started collecting used books. Uh, which I worked up to, to June of 2007. And I primarily read up until 2007 my Christian books, the Puritans and Reformed Theology and commentaries on the Bible and things like that. And, and then I discovered thrift stores sold books. And then I had, since I wasn't working, I was out of the work world and I just expanded my reading. And I've been reading all kinds of things since I left the workforce in 2007. So that's what I've been doing, filling up these shelves with my favorite collections. And uh, like over here is the Don, Don DeLillo collection. And we have Peter Carey collection. Have all his books down here. Things like that. What's up here? Oh, I do have some history books. All the history books that I have paid money. Now, I bought this book. So anything I've bought, I know I want to keep it. <laughs> so I, and I primarily have bought history books. <coughs> I buy history books, biographies. I do buy n new William Voldman's books when they come out. And I do buy beat books when they come out, if they're not just for money making. I do buy certain biographies that are new and uh, some novels. But the majority of what I get is used books. That's what I do. That's my hobby. Now, <laughs> I have to be very selective now what I get. And I'm I'm very reluctant now to ever get into this kind of trouble bef again in my life. I want to keep my collection very focused, very selective. And I found out that in going through all my books, I like I will never get rid of my Christian books. I have a huge Christian library. I primarily study the Bible and theology and I, the Bible and things like that. But when it comes to books, I like I like good literary fiction, certain writers. And I've been primarily been reading still Wolf by Jim Harrison. I almost got it done. <laughs> I'm almost finished. I got about maybe 10 pages left. And that's why I've been reading primarily when I'm not down here in the lower level going through the books and getting stuff ready to haul off, putting in boxes and driving to Gateway Center. Gateway Center is only about five, six minutes from where we live, so it's very easy. The guys come out and they unload the van and they take the books in to be sorted and that's it. And uh, so tomorrow morning we'll be taking probably three, at least three loads tomorrow and uh, throughout the week. I don't know when he's going to deliver the next four bookcases, but those will be going in the main room, not here in the back room. So that's it. I'm doing okay. The weather, it was 75 degrees here today. It got 80 degrees upstairs. Things have turned green. The flowers, you know, we had landscaping last fall. All the plants and trees that were planted are blooming. It's really pretty outside and they, they put fresh grass seeds on the lawn and that's all turning green and everything's really nice. And yeah, not much else. Uh, as far as what I've been reading in the mornings, I've been reading a little bit of those books I've shown in the past, but I get up in the morning and all I think about is coming down here and going through the books. And that's what I do and loading up the van and loading up our car and, and getting all these books out of here. 
because next month in June, our daughter and her family are going to visit us and our son and his daughter are going to be visiting us from Washington. And Carol's going to have a book swap the 16th of May and she wants the tables that are books that are books down here so but I'm sure this week we'll get rid of most of the books uh, and and uh, the bookcases will come and and when it's all done I'll show you in a video so I hope you're all doing well thank you for the new subscribers and do pray that this COVID-19 plague has not struck you down we found out yesterday or day before one of our neighbors died from COVID-19 and uh, we didn't know that, but my wife was talking, was going down, walking. My wife walks around the neighborhood. She knows all the neighbors, and she was talking to the lady. In, but she knows she had put her house up for sale. Why are you selling your house? She said, well, this February, my husband died. He came into the hospital, he was sick, and he died. My wife worked with this person at the hospital here in Holland. It was really a shock because I just saw this guy <laughs> just a couple of months ago. He was outside working on the lawn and COVID-19 struck him down. So, so I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for just being out there. Thank you for the comments and thank you for, uh, like I said, subscribing. And if you got any questions, if you got anything you want to share, feel free. And until next time, bye.